Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into tonight's game, I wanted to ask a question. Do you have extra cards lying around that you don't use? Want to buy or trade for some extra cards but don't know how to maximize the value? Then you should try out today's sponsor, Card Conduit. Card Conduit is the best service when it comes to selling your extra cards. Don't waste hours trying to find the best buy list price for your cards online. Simply send them to Card Conduit and let them take care of the rest. I have used Card Conduit multiple times already. I always use them to get the best value for my extra cards. I get fair prices for my cards and they save me tons of time. They have three main services. Their standard service lets you send them your unsorted cards of any value. They will sort, grade, and give you the best price for your cards. Their curated service is similar. Send them your unsorted cards worth over a dollar in value. They will charge half the fee of the standard service and charge no fee per card. Their sorted service is a great value as well. Choose cards in advance with their selection tool, send them sorted to Card Conduit, and they will grade and buy list them automatically. Save yourself the time of having to send to multiple sites and let Card Conduit do it instead. Their fee is only 2% with no fee per card. They give you the best price for your cards. They work with competitive buy listing partners, including ones not open to the public. Users get an average of 19% more for their collection than they would from any major retail buy list, even with Card Conduit's fees. Card Conduit also optimizes buy listing for card condition as well. Since vendors have different penalties for wear and tear, Card Conduit will find the best buy list priced against the specific condition of the card. So give Card Conduit a try today. If you sign up with my link in the description below or use the promo code POWER, you will also get 10% off of their fees when you use their service. A big thanks to Card Conduit for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Sean, piloting the partner pair of Malcolm Keen-Eyed Navigator and Tana the Bloodsower. This deck seeks to use Malcolm in conjunction with Glenhorn Buccaneer to go infinite and win the game. Sean's opening hand contains a Sylvan Library, Lotus Petal, Flooded Strand, Fine Horn Elves, Ragavan Nimble Pilferer, and his London Mulligans are Arid Mesa and Bring Delight. Next, we have Cal, pounding the partner pair of Rograk, Son of Roga, and Silas Wren, Seeker Adept. This is a Turbo Grixis list looking to win as fast as possible through Oracle, Breach, and Brain Freeze lines. Cal's opening hand contains the City of Brass, Praetor's Grasp, Dark Ritual, Demonic Tutor, Underground Sea, and his London Mulligans are Force of Negation and Bergy, God of Storytelling. After that, we have Mike, piloting the partner pair of Timna the Weaver and Malcolm, Keen-Eyed Navigator. This deck uses Doomsday to assemble a perfect five-card pile to win with Laboratory Maniac or Thassa's Oracle. Mike's opening hand contains a Calling the Weak, Tainted Pact, Grim Tutor, Dark Ritual, Command Tower, Sea of Clouds, and an Arid Mesa. Finally, we have Zeb, piloting Arkham Dagson. This deck seeks to execute one of many artifact-based infinite combos using its commander to fetch up key pieces. Zeb's opening hand contains a Swan Song, Jeweled Lotus, Solve the Equation, Scalding Tarn, Mystic Sanctuary, Mystical Tutor, and his London Mulligan is a Spine of Ish Sa. Without further ado, let's kick off this phenomenal physical philanthropic philosophy. Sean won the Shell On Challenge and gets to start us off. Sean draws a card for turn and casts a Lotus Petal. He plays a Flooded Strand. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He casts Ragavan Nimble Pilferer. He cracks his Lotus Petal to cast Fine Horn Elves. Sean passes. Cal draws and plays an Underground Sea. He casts Dark Ritual, adding three black. He casts Demonic Tutor. He fetches up a card into his hand. He casts his commander, Rograk, son of Roga. Cal passes. Mike draws and plays a Command Tower. He casts Dark Ritual, also adding three black. He casts Grim Tutor. He fetches up a card into his hand and loses three life. He casts a Jeweled Lotus. He cracks it to help cast his commander, Malcolm, Keen-Eyed Navigator. Mike ends his turn. Zeb draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an island onto the battlefield. He also casts a Jeweled Lotus. He cracks it to help cast his commander, Arkham Dagson. Finished up, Zeb passes. Sean draws and moves to combat. He attacks Cal with Ragavan. Cal takes it, Ragavan triggers, and Cal exiles a Fierce Guardian ship, and Sean creates a treasure. In his second main phase, Sean casts his commander, Malcolm, Keen-Eyed Navigator. Sean gives the turn to Cal. Cal draws and plays a City of Brass. He taps it to help cast Tainted Pact. Pact resolves and Cal reveals, reveals, and reveals until he finds a Lion's Eye Diamond putting it into his hand. Cal passes. Mike draws and plays a Sea of Clouds. He moves to combat and attacks Cal with Malcolm. Cal takes it, Malcolm triggers, and Mike creates a treasure. In his second main phase, Mike casts Laboratory Maniac. Everyone takes notice as Mike passes to Zeb. Zeb draws and plays an island. He casts Corridor Monitor. It enters and targets Arkham. In response, Zeb activates Arkham, sacrificing Corridor Monitor, and fetches up a God Pharaoh statue onto the battlefield. Then the Monitor trigger resolves and Zeb untaps Arkham. Zeb passes, God Pharaoh statue triggers, and each opponent loses one. The turn moves to Sean. Sean draws and moves to combat. He attacks Cal with Malcolm and Mike with Ragavan. They both take it, and Malcolm and Ragavan trigger. Mike exiles a Windswept Heath, then Sean creates a treasure, then creates two more from Malcolm. In his second main phase, Sean casts Sylvan Library. 
With nothing else to do, Sean ends his turn. Cal draws and taps the City of Brass to help cast Mox Amber, paying for God Pharaoh's statue. Cal passes. Mike draws and plays an Arid Mesa. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Scrubland onto the battlefield. He moves to combat and attacks Sean with Malcolm. Sean takes it, Malcolm triggers, and Mike creates a treasure. Mike ships the turn to Zeb. Zeb draws and plays a Mystic Sanctuary, into play tapped. He passes, statue triggers, and each opponent loses one. During his draw step, Sean draws two extra through Sylvan Library, paying eight life to keep them both. He moves to combat and attacks Zeb with Malcolm and Cal with Ragavan. They both take it, and Malcolm and Ragavan trigger. Cal exiles the defense grid, and then Sean creates three treasures. In his second main phase, Sean sacks three treasures to help cast Brainstorm, drawing three and putting two back on top. With everyone else feeling the squeeze of God Pharaoh's statue, Sean passes to Cal. Cal draws and casts a Lion's Eye Diamond. He passes. Mike draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. He moves to combat and attacks Sean with Malcolm and Cal with Lab Man. They both take it, Malcolm triggers, and Mike creates a treasure. Mike passes the turn. Zeb draws, casts a Manifold Key, and passes. During his draw step, Sean draws two extra through Sylvan Library, paying four life to keep one extra. He plays a Tropical Island for turn. He casts a Dockside Extortionist. Dockside enters, and Sean creates six treasures. He casts Gamble. He fetches up a card into his hand and then randomly discards a Mystic Remora. He moves to combat and attacks Zab with Malcolm and Mike with Ragavan. Mike exiles a Chrome Mox and then Sean creates three treasures. With nothing else, Sean ships the turn to Cal. Cal draws and taps the City of Brass to help cast Mystic Remora. Cal passes. At the end of Cal's turn, Mike cracks a Scalding Tarn, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He casts Tainted Pact. Remora triggers and Cal draws. In response, Zeb casts Swan Song. Remora triggers and Cal draws. Tainted Pact is countered and Mike creates a 2-2 bird. The turn moves to Mike. Mike draws and casts his other commander, Timna the Weaver. In response, Zeb casts Mystical Tutor. Remora triggers and Cal draws. Then Zeb fetches up a Transmute artifact onto the top of his library. Then Timna resolves. Mike moves to combat and attacks Sean with Labman, Cal with Malcolm, and Zeb with his bird. Sean blocks with Dockside Extortionist. Then they take the rest, Malcolm triggers, and Mike creates two treasures. In his second main phase, Mike pays two life and draws two cards through Timna. He plays a City of Traitors. He casts a Siren Storm Tamer. Mike gives the turn to Zeb. Zeb draws and casts Transmute Artifact. Remora triggers and Cal draws. Transmute Artifact resolves, Zeb sacrifices Manifold Key, and then fetches up a Mere Sire onto the battlefield, paying the difference. Next, Zeb activates Arkham, sacrificing Mirror Sire, and then fetches up a Chromatic Orrery onto the battlefield. Mirror Sire triggers, and Zeb creates a 1 1 Mirror. Zeb casts Solve the Equation. Remora triggers, and Cal draws. He fetches up a Hidden Strings into his hand. He casts Hidden Strings, targeting Arkham. Remora triggers, and Cal draws again. Arkham untaps, then Zeb ciphers it onto Arkham. He activates Arkham, sacrificing his Mirror token, and then fetches up a Citadel Flute onto the battlefield. With nothing else, Zeb passes, Statue triggers, and each opponent loses one. During his draw step, Sean draws two extra through Sylvan Library, paying four life to keep one extra. In his main phase, he casts Bring to Light. Remora triggers and Cal draws. In response, knowing this is a problem, Zeb casts Fierce Guardianship for its alternate cost. Cal draws from Remora, then Bring to Light is countered. Sean moves to combat and attacks Zeb with Malcolm and Cal with Ragavan. They both take it, and Malcolm and Ragavan trigger. Cal exiles a Vampiric Tutor, then Sean creates three treasures. With nothing else to do, Sean passes. During his upkeep, Cal lets his Remora die. He draws and plays a Badlands. He taps the City of Brass to cast a Dockside Extortionist. It enters, and Cal creates eight treasures. He casts Cyclonic Rift, targeting God Pharaoh's statue. In response, Sean casts Flusterstorm, with all copies targeting Rift. Cal pays for them all, then Rift bounces statue. Now, finally out from under the statue, Cal casts a Mox Opal. He casts a Paradise Mantle. He casts a Soul Ring. He equips Paradise Mantle to Rograk. He casts Underworld Breach. In response, Sean evokes Endurance, exiling a green card. In response, Cal casts Force of Will, paying a life, and exiling a blue card, countering Endurance. With no other answers, Underworld Breach resolves. Cal sacrifices his Lion's Eye Diamond, discards his hand, and adds three black. He escapes LED. He sacks it for three blue. He escapes Praetor's Grasp, targeting Mike. In response, Mike sacrifices Siren Storm Tamer, countering Praetor's Grasp. Cal escapes Demonic Consultation, naming Brain Freeze. He exiles the top six, and then exiles until he finds Brain Freeze, putting it into his hand. He casts Brain Freeze, with seven copies targeting himself and the rest at Mike's. He mills the rest of his library. Unfortunately, he has very little left in his graveyard due to the consultation earlier in the game. So he cannot mill out everyone because Mike will just draw and win with Labman. So Cal tries to think of a line. He escapes LED. He cracks it for three blue. He escapes LED again and then sacks it for three black. Unfortunately, he cannot get there. So he decides to concede and the turn moves to Mike. Mike draws and casts Imperial Seal. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. He moves to combat and attacks Zeb with Malcolm and his bird and Sean with Timna and Labman. They both take it, Malcolm triggers, and Mike creates a treasure. In his second main phase, Mike pays two life and draws two cards through Timna. He casts Demonic Consultation, exiling his library. He pays two life to cast Jutaxian Probe, targeting Sean. 
He looks at Sean's hand and then attempts to draw from an empty library through Lab Man, and Mike wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a fun match. Congrats to Mike on his win. Cal almost had it on his Underworld Breach turn, but his early demonic consultation made it impossible to close it out. Mike was able to seize the opportunity, find his moment, and close out the game. The most valuable card in tonight's game, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to God Pharaoh's statue. Once this card hit on turn two, the game grinded to a halt. It was backbreaking for Zeb's opponents to pay two extra for everything they needed, and it was very difficult to fight through. Only when it was removed did the game close out in short order. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.